Hi, Si here from Music Radar. We're at the Noun 2020. This is the media preview day. It's crazy. Um, but we've got a couple of newbies with us. This is the guys from Vocal. This is George and Kelly. Nice to meet you guys. Um, and you're introing brand new products, which it's going to get a lot of people talking, I think. It's uh, something brand new. Um, let's dive straight in. Talk to us about what you've got here. OK, sure. So uh, this is the Doubler Studio Kit. It's live vocal recognition uh, for music making. So basically, it's converting voice into MIDI. Uh, and it does that. It does three things. It uh, will allow you to control percussive sounds by like beatboxing or clicking and clapping. It's going to trigger samples or live. Uh, you can also lay down melodic parts by kind of singing or humming. And you can control uh, effects or parameters of your synth by changing the style of your voice, kind of going ooh, ah, ooh, ah. Right, so any kind of yeah, articulations with your mouth and okay, yeah, exactly, cool. Yeah. Um, so the Doubler Studio Kit is essentially is the microphone and the software. Is that right? Yeah, exactly. So all the intelligence, uh, the intelligence is predominantly in the software, but because we're doing this uh, like live machine learning and live audio recognition, mm -hmm. it's like super helpful for us to have a known audio input. So we've created the Doubler um, microphone. Yeah. It's uh, got built-in audio interface, so it's just plug and play. Yeah. It's low latency, and you know it's going to work. But we don't want to like lock to it to prevent people from doing weird stuff so if you want to plug in something else you can do that sure but the studio kit comes with the microphone to ensure uh, out best out results the box. straight exactly. out of the box right um, and it's USB connection yeah. clearly yeah um, well I think we need to Give see it in action down. so um, yeah go for it okay cool so um, first of all I'll show you the, the percussive sound so I've taught my voice here for six to control six different samples and I can put those in a stream And then everything on this side is to do with controlling um, pitched sounds. So if I'm going to go... Okay. So you can see I've actually got kind of key fix on, and there's a chord function. There's basically loads of other features underneath this I won't go into. Right. But if I change the way I'm making the sound, I can also change parameters on the synth. So if I'm going to go... There, I'm kind of turning an arpeggiator yeah. intensity up and down by going wow, wow. And that's mappable? You can, that's you all can, mappable. Yeah, so everything is mappable. You cool. can change. It's a standalone um, app. So it's basically think of it like a virtual MIDI controller. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's all the CC values for the, um, for the dial. So you can have that controlling any kind of parameter that can be controlled by MIDI. OK. And as you were demonstrating there, it's, it just instantly recognizes the sort of things that come out of So if you're putting sort of loud sibilance in there, it's going to think that's a drum kit. Uh, is that how we're working? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. It, it, it's it's got you can turn different systems on and off if okay. you don't want to accidentally, accidentally trigger sounds. Else. Sure. Uh, and you can even you know, sometimes people want to blend them together. So if you were amazing like kind of Ella Fitzgerald style scat singer, you could have that kind of skiddy bap bap the the, the uh, plosive sounds yeah. actually triggering bass lines and stuff like that awesome. if you wanted. I yeah. don't do those kind of demos myself because <laughs> I don't claim to be like Ella Fitzgerald. But what you what you're bringing here is a tool for people to actually then explore that and those vocally adept or virtuoso types are going to be able to take it on. And exactly, because yeah. it's great for beginners because yeah. you can just start doing stuff. But actually, um, you know, if you're a more a sophisticated musician, there's still loads of stuff you can do in yeah. areas for exploration that just haven't been touched yet. So how long have you been developing this, this sort of software? I've been working on it for nearly four years, okay. um, but we've had a team that have been doing much more, like I don't, I started prototyping things and now there's not a single line of code that's written in the software by me which is definitely a good thing for the state of the software <laughs> you started another thing <laughs> taking it on yeah. yeah okay cool so yeah four years has been in uh, yeah in it's probably making. been more like the, the company was incorporated three years ago yeah. almost this week actually so oh, okay. it's more like that oh nice our right. birthday yeah yeah that's cool um how soon are we going to be able to see this on to market? Is it, is it coming uh, out now, soon? basically? You're, so you're available now. we launched it last March on a Kickstarter. Yep. We've already and we did a, a first kind of order for that. We've already sold all of those. Yep. So now we're waiting for our second shipment to come in, which comes in next month. Uh -huh. So you can buy it now uh, as a pre-sale for next month at a discount, okay. which is 250 uh, pounds UK pounds, which is about 325 dollars. Yep. And then after that, we'll go on general sale at full retail price which is £295 okay. or $375, I think, ish. Okay. <laughs> so in 
the development of this product, do you see yourself kind of expanding on, on what you can deliver in the software department and possibly with the hardware as well? Is there, have you got more things cooking oh, that you can talk about? so many things cooking. Oh, cool. um, I mean, there's, there's new function, there's new functionality, and then there's also kind of improvements on the functionality we've got. So uh, the kind of pitch recognition is, is just, has been an ongoing passion project for people all over the world yeah. for decades. You know, we, we don't claim to be the first people to do that. No. We're bringing something new to it, and we've got new ideas of what we can bring to that. So that's certainly, you know, we've, since re releasing our first shipment, we've already been putting out updates and stuff on that. Um, We've had a couple of features that we've just thrown in. So, for example, there's a key fix on here already. Okay. Now, if I wanted to fix the key vocally by, by singing it, that's now something we've incorporated. So I could sing a few notes, it'd restrict the key, it'd even suggest a key that that could be in. And so little bits of intelligence like that just yeah. to make it kind of easier to get going. You'll, yeah. you'll see more of those. And then uh, there's a few other things in the pipeline that we're keeping under wraps. Keeping under wraps, that's all right, like, yeah the lure of something new. Paul, well, thank you so much for uh, bringing it here and showing it for us uh, today. So cheers for that, guys. Right, cool. Thank you. Um, be sure to like, subscribe, comment and share. We have seen this video right now. And do check out musicradar.com for the latest NAM 2020 news when we get it. So we'll see you soon.